So in this lecture, we're going to look at creating partial files. We're going to take this header and we're going to move it into its own file. That can be done by creating a new folder inside of our theme folder, and that will be called partials. This is for any partial amount of content, so a template such as this header. Let's create a file then inside of here called header.hbs. We can then pull out this code by using Command X or Control X. And then inside of header.hbs, we can use Command V or Control V to paste this inside of this file. Let's save index.hbs. And when we refresh our page, you'll notice that we lose that header. If we then head back over to our default.hbs, we can stick in our header by using the greater than sign and then the name of our partial. Well, our partial is called header, so we'll type header. If we save the file and refresh, you'll notice that we get the error, the partial header could not be found. So why could header not be found? We've created it here inside of the partials folder. Well, the answer to that is that we have to restart our ghost server. Now we didn't have to restart this server when we created default.hbs. And that's because ghost was expecting that file to be there. But when we create a partial that ghost does not know about already, such as the header.hbs, we have to restart our ghost server. So let's run ghost stop. And then we'll run ghost start development once again. If we refresh our file, we then get our header like we did before, but this time it's in its own file, which we could then navigate and change. We could add anything we want here. If we had a paragraph such as hello world underneath the description, our changes would be reflected.